just got out of the shower, so excuse me. Um, so, today's Sunday. <laughs> um, I'm supposed to go into work today, but I decided to take the day off because I get tomorrow off too, but do I? No, I don't. Um, I've decided that I'm going to take a couple days a week and close the shop. Um, if my sister can take care of the shop, she will, but I am going to close the shop and I'm going to go back to doing skip the dishes. Um, <clears throat> cause I need to be able to pay my rent at the shop and it's really slow right now. So, um, it's not going to pay the bills. So, I'm going back to skip the dishes. Yay! Crap. <laughs> but, anyway, then it is what it is. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, hopefully, my back will be okay. My back has not been the same since I had that fall. <clears throat> um, I'm still suffering pretty badly from it. Uh, I'm going to try and get to the chiropractor, but now I've got a shift tomorrow. I might be able to go in the morning because I don't have, I have an afternoon shift with Skip tomorrow. So maybe I'll get a morning appointment, go to the chiropractor and see if he can fix me. But yeah, I just, I can't believe just a little fall like that can really mess you up. It's unbelievable. So... <clears throat> I can't imagine, like, I was watching football with George. Well, I wasn't watching it. I, it was on. <laughs> but he was watching football, and I was looking at the hits that they take, and I thought, my God, if just a little fall like that really affected me, I can't imagine what it's like to, you know, be hit like that on a constant basis. So, anyway. Okay, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys in a bit. So I'm doing my second half of my shift. Um, they do four hour shifts. So this is my second half of the afternoon. It's windy, windy. Look at these clouds. Uh, they probably don't look quite as dark uh, on camera as they do in person. <laughs> but, whew. So, yeah, it's uh, windy, 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 but I'm having a really good day. So, my back is holding up, and my hips are holding up. It's all good. I might actually make my rent this month, guys. Yay! Ah, so, yeah. And I had a little small break in between both of my shifts. So I ran to Walmart just to see, because I wanted to pick up some yarn for a hat that I'm making for um, Angela at Opposites Attract in the market that I, I have my shop at. She's totally into mushrooms, right? Well, I got that mushroom from her. Um, so she's, she's like a total mushroom freak. So I wanted to make her a mushroom hat. And guess what I saw, you guys? <gasps> Colorama Halo! <laughs> We've got them! I'm so happy! But I'm not happy about the price. $12.99. But you know what? I got it anyway. So I got some... I hate working with this stuff, but I need to use it. It's the um, Comfort. So I figured these two colors together would look amazing. And then there's some ruffles underneath the hat. And I got the Sparkle um, Premium, Bernat Premium Sparkle, White Sparkle. I don't know, can you guys see that sparkle? Yeah. So I got that. And then I'm going to make the little mushrooms that go on the hat a totally different, uh, like a bunch of different colors. So, yeah. Okay, got to get back to my shift. <laughs> Hi, Yarnabies. I look like a hot mess. I, yeah. It's morning, okay? <laughs> Today is a rainy, yucky, icky day. It's definitely fall. Yuck. 
So I'm drinking my coffee and I have some keto chow in it that is um, pumpkin spice. So yeah, keto chow is um, a, is that a meal replacement? I guess so. But anyway, I have a whole bunch of whips, believe it or not. I, I'm in whip, whip palooza or something. I don't know. Uh, whip hell. <laughs> I'm just, I keep starting things and I keep going, you know, I got to finish this and then I veer off and go, oh, I want to make this. Oh, I want to make that. And I'm finding that I'm getting lost in my whips. I'm not getting anything finished and I got to really smarten up because I need to get stock for the shop and uh yeah so uh and now that i am gonna be doing skip the dishes again uh two days a week <sighs> i don't know how many how much time or I, I i just don't even know i need a few more of me i guess but anyway um so i started making scoodies again uh, again, um, if you don't know what a scoodie is, go to my Etsy page, which is linked down below. Uh, I got my pat, the pattern in there. It's a hooded cowl that I designed. Um, I've had it for years. Uh, it's always been a great seller for me. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, so I started making them. I, Oh, I've got so much stuff here. Oh my God. If you could see my area right here, you know, everything that was in my yarn room, I swear to God is in my living room now. But anyway, <clears throat> okay. So my bestie, Sandy Duda, sent me a box of stuff. As you saw, if you didn't see that, um, that video, go check it out. Um, she sent me some stuff and so did Jeanette from Hootie's Crafts. And so there was a couple of things in there that I was really eager to try. Um, Sandy had sent me this yarn before. Oh, do I even have, I don't even have a yarn book. Wait, I might, hang on. Do I? <sighs> Again, got so much stuff. Hang on one second. Found it. <laughs> okay. So, Sandy sent me this yarn. I think it's a discontinued yarn. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, she sent it to me in a whole bunch of different colors. She sent me this yarn a couple of years ago. And I, it's really cool yarn. It is a very heavy yarn. Uh, it's very dense yarn. But... <clears throat> It's really nice. Um, so I thought, wonder if I could do a scooty with that. I wonder if it's going to be too heavy. Um, so I thought I'd try it. Um, Jeanette, Miss Hootie, sent me this yarn. And I, oh my gosh, I love this yarn. Absolutely love it. Yeah, big twist shimmer. It's very glittery, very glittery. So I thought I'd put the two together because this one's really light. This one's really heavy. So I thought, well, we'll see how it goes. So I started making this, oops, this scoody. And it is very, it's got some heft to it. That's for sure. But um, I think it's turning out pretty good. Oops. Um. And then I'm planning on putting this fur around it. So, and this is the um, yarn be snuggle up. Snuggle up? Yeah. <laughs> In Scarlet Ruby. So I thought that those would go really well together. I guess we'll find out when I get it all done. <clears throat> so, yeah. That is what I'm doing for that. Okay. Oh, let me put that aside. I've got so many whips, you guys. It's crazy. Ah. 
Um, okay, so that keep that together. <gasps> oh. All right, so that's that width. Then I've got this the baby sweater that I was starting to make the um, this one. I got it all sewed up. I got the collar done. And then I realized I made a big boo-boo where I joined here, where I had this, I had it so that it kind of opened a little bit uh, to give it kind of a, a different kind of collar. Well, one side was like closer to the middle than the other side and it was off by a couple of stitches and but it was enough that you could really see a difference so I had to tear out I had to cut out the collar um, and because it was all kind of attached I had to not only take out the collar I had to take out the stitching to sew up the arms and I have to start all of that all over again so that's in a timeout right now I don't want to look at it for a while because it just oh I was so mad um so that's that one <clears throat> then I haven't I <laughs> This one's kind of in a timeout as well. This is the poncho that I was doing. I don't even know where the top or whatever is for this. Ugh. Okay. So this is how it's kind of looking. I'm in the process. I'm in the process of doing the bottom ribbing. I got to do the bottom ribbing on that side. And then I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go from here. I don't know if I have to sew up part of this. Um, I have to figure that out. But then I also have to do the collar. Oops, let's put this way. <clears throat> then I have to also do the collar. But my hands started getting really sore. So I put it aside. So... That's in a timeout. Oh. Oh. And then I started another Scooty. Um, this one I'm doing with uh, Bernat Casa. Casa? Casa? This yarn has three different um, variations. Of yarn in it now a lot of people don't like working with this but I found that it's perfect for scooties there was another one another yarn that was similar to this years ago uh, and I tried it except it had like a more of a pip squeak yarn in it <clears throat> and it looked great and they sold so fast so I thought okay I brought some in and I started making another scooty. So I think it's turn, turning out really nice. It's so squishy soft, but it's really light. I was really surprised. Um, so I'm working on uh, the fur now. Now, I don't have this color fur and white would be too white I think so I don't exactly know what color fur I'm gonna put on this I've got a whole bunch of this stuff I I don't even know how many balls I ordered like eight um, <clears throat> so maybe what I'm gonna do is do a bunch that have different colors of fur I don't know where the where it is but um, I was thinking about doing one with blue fur, one with red fur, one with black fur, one, you know, like doing a whole bunch of variations of it. So, yeah. So that's that one. Uh, 
<clears throat> Take a sip of my coffee. <laughs> All right. Then I started thinking, I need to make another sweater. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> I did a swatch for, I was trying to make a pumpkin. It didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. Um, because when I stuffed it, you could see the stuffing through it, and I didn't like that. So I thought, oh, well, okay, I'll just sew it up and, and make it a coffee thing or whatever, a coffee cover. But I really liked the design, right? And I just winged it, right? I was just messing around. But I really liked the design, and I thought, huh, that would make a nice sweater. So, <laughs> I started making a sweater, and I'm using oops, Craft Smart Value in black, and then I'm using, oh my goodness, what is it? I had a yarn of that nail it to me. I love this yarn print, I think. Um, and I can't remember the color. I will put it here. Um, so I thought that these two would go beautifully with that pattern. <clears throat> and it did. Look at that. Oh, I love it. So, yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's about right. But yeah, I really love the way it's turning out. So, it's going to be a cardigan. So, this is the back piece I'm working on. Problem is, it's a process. <clears throat> I've, I've been doing amigurumi and everything for so long now. Like all summer, that's what I've been doing. And I'm starting to find that using the smaller, or the like 5 to 5.5, even 6 millimeter hooks <clears throat> and 4 weight yarn is kind of getting to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting bored and I'm going, oh no, like what, what's happening to me? <clears throat> so, but that's another whip I'm doing. Oh, so I'm in the process of doing that. And then I saw a pattern. I think it came up on Instagram and I was like, oh, do I, do I dare? Um, Angela from Opposites Attract, it's the shop that's in the market where I have my shop. She is a mushroom freak. Like she loves everything mushroom. Um, she's even got a st bumper sticker on her car that says I stop for mushrooms. <laughs> like she, she's like the mushroom queen. Oops. Sorry. So when I saw this pattern... I was like, oh, hell yes, I've got to make this for her. But it is an intricate pattern. I have never done anything like this before. And, uh, excuse me, I thought, all right, challenge accepted. Because she needs to have this hat. Um... It's called the Twisted Toadstool Hat, and the designer is the Twisted Hatter. Oh my god, guys, if you go check her out, I will leave her link down below. She's got some amazing hats on her Etsy page. Oh, I figured if I could get through this hat, I might want to try some of her other hats. But I'm telling you, my hands are hurting so bad. 
Um, and there's a lot of brain power to this one. Um, I can't imagine what her other ones are like, but I, I have to be in a quiet room, um, so I can focus because of the stitch count and the, the way the stitches go. I have to really focus hard. So I can't be working on this when George is home. Because George has the TV going, blasting loud. He's got his computer going, blasting loud. He's got his phone blasting. And I'm just like, oh, I can't handle it. So <clears throat> I was up until about 1 o'clock in the morning working on this. Um, and then I've been working on it all, you know, all morning now. I have to work this afternoon. But um, I wanted to get a real good jump on this. I didn't know how long it was going to take so this is the pattern look at that hat this is it in a different color but it's got ruffles all underneath it oh I love this hat let me see if I can I think there's another picture of different kinds in here Uh, this is that pink one up close, but it's got all these little mushrooms on it. Ugh, I'm telling you, I'm going to be, by the time I'm done this, my, my head's going to be hurting bad, I know it. So, so that's what I'm doing. I'll show you how far I've gotten. I'm working on the brim right now. And I'll tell you, when I started it and I got the top of the hat done and the way it twirls, I was so excited, you guys. I was just like, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> so there's the top. And here's, here's the hat part. Isn't it cute? I just, oh my God, I just love this. So yeah, like I'm working on the brim right now, but oh, it's so tall you can't even see it. <laughs> so the brim is going to come out and then all underneath here is going to be the ruffles. But, oh, it's just, I, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually doing it. Um, but let me tell you, where'd my glasses go? Um, let me tell you, my hands, oh, it's double stranded. And my hands are just screaming at me. But I, oh, I should tell you what yarn I'm using. I went to Walmart yesterday and I was so freaking excited. We had a few balls of the Colorama Halo um, you guys know, I mean, if you've been with me for any length of time, you guys know Latte Cakes and Colorama Halo, my favorite, like one of my massive favorites. So I got this one. This color is, what color is this? Rosemary Frost. Okay. Um... So I, I paired this with, I don't have the ball band, but this is, um, comfort red. Is it red heart, red heart comfort? Yeah. Um, and I don't know the color, the green, what the heck is my ball band? Oh, it's probably underneath all of my whips. But anyways, I paired the two together and this was what, how, what it came out like. Um, I'm loving it and I know that I'm afraid to wash it, but once I'm done, um, with the hat part, I want to wash it and put it in a delicate dry so that it fluffs up even more. But I think she's going to love this. 
I'm going to do the mushroom part, the mushrooms in a bunch of different colors. Um, like teal and pink and yellow and whatever. Uh, and the, and the ruffles underneath I'm going to do in the premier, uh, uh, Bernat premium in the sparkle. Look at that sparkle. Um, <laughs> this is called. Yeah, white sparkle. It's, let's see if I can turn this down a little bit. There you go. See that sparkle? Yeah. So that is going to be underneath. Um, whether or not I'm put, because by that time I might be into this lighter greens. So I might pair it with that. I don't know yet. I'll have to see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, it's, I'm so excited. This is going to be so cool and it's going to be ready for her for Halloween. So, but she, I know she's probably going to want to wear it every day, all day long. <laughs> she's going to just freak out when she sees this. So, yeah. I'm so excited. So that is what I am doing, you guys. Oh, I'm, I'm sure I've got other whips here too somewhere, but I just can't even think about all of that. Uh, what I am using though, I mean, I know a lot of you probably have hand problems too when you're working on stuff. I bought this a couple years ago. And I tell you, it works like hot damn. It's a um, hand massager. And this thing is the cat's, you know what. But you can hit the button when it's green, it's just normal. When you hit the red, it, it uses heat. And it basically squishes um, it compresses your hand in different areas like the front and the back will compress in different ways and it basically um, gets the the blood flow going in your hand and it massages your hand at the same time um, there is a setting on here for big hands like men's hands and then there's a setting for ladies hands but yeah this I couldn't keep crocheting without this thing um, it's it's amazing I just love it it was well worth the money I'll tell you that um, I wish I had one for the rest of my body <laughs> I, just, I am not um, I'm not a hundred percent from my fall. Uh, I'm still getting bad pains in my left leg. Um, I can't lay on my left side. It's yeah. The sciatica is nasty and it just feels like my, my side is bruised, like my hip is bruised, but that's not even the side that I fell on. So I don't know what's going on. So I may have to. Take some time and go to the chiropractor and see if he can fix me because this is not working for me at all. It's been a long time since I've had to take painkillers on a daily basis. Um, I had a real handle on my pain, but now I'm taking painkillers every day again and I'm not liking it. So there's that. Anyways, okay, you guys, that's all I've got for you. Um, thanks for joining me. And if you so choose, if you can subscribe and like and all do all the things, that would be wonderful. And I guess I will talk to you guys in a while. I'll, um, once I finish this hat, I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, I love you all. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.